all not only is like that. Not that young, my dear Jenny. 85 years old already. If his so-called wife cared for him a little, she would have lived to be a hundred. But she, at the age of the 75, is always traveling to exotic places and plays cards. She, she was never there to look after him. Thank God this nice lady Natasha took care of him. She cleaned the house and she cooked meals for him too. You are absolutely right. Not to mention her running from one plastic surgeon to another, and she has become like a mummy with all that face pulling. But of course, she doesn't care about any. She married the best of the guys, and now she's going to get all his pension and his fortune as well. <sighs> oh, what she leaves to us is nothing in comparison to her. I can guess what she is leaving to me, since they called us here for the opening of his will. The collection of beer cups look to me. Hmm. It's not bad. What about you? Have you got any idea? Me? Who I kept his company for all those years by doing overtime? I am sure he is leaving me the big walnut desk. He thought that that junk had sentimental value for him and for me too. As you understand, your worthless cousin is going to get everything. The house, the mansion in Mykonos, the yacht. As if the crown, who can't even get on a board, will be able to go around with it. But of course, he wants it as a dick boy for young men. We don't know what a sex maniac is. She's a cougar. Oh, how handsome man Manolis has been in his house. Imagine, I am saying to you confidentially, it was me that he first wanted. But this fox in Violetta stole him from me. That's why I never got married, out of my longing desire for him. And so many young men were interested in me, the best of them. I walked and the pavement was shaking. Don't look at me now that I have grown too old. Forgive me, my dear, but the pavement grown because you were weighing 90 kilos. Okay, okay, don't get angry, I didn't mean it, okay. You know, I need to make a confession to you now. Manoli's secret and greatest love was me. <gasps> yes, what do you think that we've been doing all those weekends at his office, over time you thought? Hmm, this is the same why I didn't got married. Ha, <laughs> but of course, you understand that it's not only the desk that he's leaving me. Of course, it has been a witness of all the unimaginable things that happened in there, but... You understand what a surprise it will be for your cousin Violetta? Wow! Are you telling me that the late Manolis has been cheating on Mrs. Cousin for so many years? I am. Well, I'm dying to see her face when she hears that he's leaving to you a part of his fortune. Then she will realize what was happening all this time. <laughs> there she comes! <laughs>
This collection was my beloved husband's a valuable one. What can I say? After all, you are his beloved cousin. So, we can keep it. Thank you, my dear. You are so kind. Girls, girls, the lawyer comes. Don't let him to see us in such a bad situation. <laughs> and she's so hot. Good morning, ladies. Miss Papadopoulou, my consolidations. To you also, my ladies. I suppose we are relatives of the deceased. Not exactly, my dear. I have been his secretary for 40 years, and here is his loved cousin, and from there is our faithful Natasha, who has been standing by Manolis the last years of his life. Very well, uh, step into my office for the opening of the week. Come on, mother. Come on, Madame, don't worry, come on. Don't cry. Well, I'm ready to start. The undersigning Emmanuel Papadopoulos of Georgios, businessman in vocation, having my mind sound, I wish my fortune to be disposed after my death as follows. To my beloved cousin Jenny, I leave my famous collection of beer cups that I have collected from every part of the world, of immense sentimental value that reveals my appreciation and my brother in love I have always felt for her. To my capable and loyal secretary Maria, I let my special walnut office to remind her of our cooperation for 40 years, a worthless proof of my gratitude for the Sundays and holidays that she sacrificed for the benefit of the company. To my wife, Violetta, I leave my photos to remember as well as my grandfather's portrait that was of great sentimental value for me, as this man started barefoot from his villa, set up his family enterprise. Well, well, can't you please keep the nonsense? Go on, please, it's more important. Be patient, Miss Papadopoulou. I haven't finished yet. I continue. Since I know that my wife is a very impartial and charitable person that doesn't pay any attention to material goods, I am certain that she will be very pleased to learn that I have decided to leave every movable and immovable property of ours to our housekeeper Natasha. For she has given me back the joy of life in my old age and she has taken care of me better than a relative of hers. The house of 100 square meters, our cottage in Mykonos Island, and the yacht belong, belong yeah. now to her. Here you are, my ladies. I have finished. Could you please sign? Don't be upset, madam. Now I am the owner of the house in Mykonos and I need a housekeeper for it. And I think that's your perfect one. <laughs>